Hi. In this video, we're talking about significant figures, which are very important as we take measurements in chemistry. So I want to start with this picture of an ice cream cone, which, let's be honest, is completely unfair. But what I notice about this ice cream cone is that there are two scoops of ice cream. And that's exact. That's not a measurement. I can see them. I can count them. That's an exact number. Things that we can count are called exact. They're not measurements. So there are eight ice cream cones here. But if I got the weight, maybe, or the mass of one ice cream cone, or maybe I took the temperature of that ice cream, that would be a measurement. And there's a little bit more to measurements than there is to exact numbers. So let me give you a different example. Let's say I wanted to get the, the length of this piece of metal. And this is the ruler I have. Um, it's not a very good ruler. Uh, but I line it up and I can give it my best shot. I know it's, it's longer than zero centimeters, but it's not quite five centimeters. Maybe I'll say it's four centimeters. Well, that's good, but if I was able to get a better ruler, let's say this one here, then I could get a more specific measurement here. I know that this is between four and five, so it's not just four centimeters. Maybe I can say this is 4.2 centimeters because it looks like about a fifth of the way between four and five. That's better, but still I can do better if I have a better ruler. Uh, this one's got a lot of hash marks on it, so this is at maybe 4.25 centimeters. 4.25 centimeters sounds good. Now I'm always guessing on that last digit there. In every single one of these rulers, I got a measurement. It was a guess, at least the last digit was. But notice that when my instrument got more specific, I was able to get more digits in my measurement. So with the greater specificity of my measuring tool, I'm able to have more digits in my measurement. These are called significant figures. Significant figures are digits in a measurement which reflect its accuracy. So if we go back to these three measurements here, in this first measurement, there's only one significant figure. In the second one, there are two, and in the third one, there are three. Now it's more than just counting up the numbers in a measurement. I want to show you a trick that I use for determining how many significant figures are in a measurement. If you draw a map of the United States, on the east coast or the right side, we have the Atlantic Ocean. On the west coast or the left side, we have the Pacific. We're going to use the first letters of each of those oceans to help us figure out where to start counting. If there's a decimal point present in a measurement, we're going to start on the Pacific side or the left side of that number. If there is no decimal point present, in other words, it's absent, uh, like Atlantic, then we're going to start on the right side. Let's take 534 as our first example. Is there a decimal point present in this number? No. It's absent. So we're going to start on the Atlantic or the right side of the measurement. And we're going to start counting at the first non-zero digit. And we'll keep counting until we get to the other side of the measurement. So one, two, three. There are three significant figures in this measurement. See how that works? Let's try a few more. 20,001, is there a decimal present or absent? Again, it's absent, there is no decimal point in this number. So I start on the right side or the Atlantic side. I'm gonna start counting at that one there. One, two, three, four, five. Once I begin counting, I'm not gonna stop until I get to the other side of the number, whether it's a zero or not. Once I've started counting, I keep going until I'm done. How about this, 3.490? Well, yes, there's a decimal present in this measurement, so I'm going to start on the Pacific side. One, two, three, four. Four significant figures in this measurement here. How about this one? 0 0.05. Decimal's present, so we start on the Pacific side. I am not going to count these first two zeros, and I'm just going to count that one. So that means there's only one significant figure in this measurement. How about this one? 0 0.5607. Again, a decimal's present. We start on the left side of the Pacific side of the number. I don't count that first zero. One, two, three, four. Four significant figures in this measurement. 730. Try this one. Uh, there is no decimal point in this, so it's the Atlantic side, the right side that we're starting on. We don't count that zero, and just one, two digits are significant in this measurement. What about 730 with a decimal on the end? Now, I didn't see this until I got to chemistry, but Sometimes this happens in science. If we're talking about measurements and we want to make that zero significant on the end, then we throw a decimal point right on the end with nothing else after it. 
It's kind of strange, but it can happen. So is there a decimal point present? Of course, it's at the end. So we're gonna start on the left side of the number. We count one, two, three digits in this number. So 730 without a decimal, 730 with. There's a difference in one significant figure there. Now this last one's a little tricky, but really, as long as you know the trick, it's not that hard at all. If you have scientific notation measurements, you're only gonna consider the first part of the scientific notation when you're figuring out how many significant figures are in the measurement. In other words, ignore that times 10 to the third. We're just looking at the front. Is there a decimal present? Yes, there is. So we start on the left and one, two, three. Three significant figures in this entire measurement. So significant figures, uh, very significant in chemistry, no pun intended. Okay, I did intend that pun. But they're very important because anytime we're doing measurement math, which you can imagine in chemistry happens quite a bit, we're going to have to keep our eye on the end at significant figures. Um, I might recommend bookmarking this video because throughout the year, some students struggle a little bit with significant figures. Uh, they're focused more on the chemistry concepts and they forget, oh no, I just did math with this and I forgot to assess significant figures. So might be a good idea for you to bookmark this video, put it in a place where you can find it again quickly and rewatch throughout the year as needed. Thank you.